Welcome to the wedding of Jack and Laura. I'm so delighted to be standing up here today with Jack and Laura and to look out at you all, friends and family who have gathered to celebrate with us today. Jack's dating life has always been a bit of a mystery to me. <laughs> so when he first introduced Laura to the family over three years ago, I remember feeling excited. Excited not only because he found someone he likes and who is wonderful, but excited because I knew this would mean we would get to witness Jack unfold in new and beautiful and unexpected ways as he discovers himself through a loving partnership. So I first met Laura, how anyone would meet anyone back in 2020 on a Zoom call. And uh, I, I remember how much warmth and fun the two of them seemed to have together in their little Zoom square. Um, if you've ever been on a Fensky Zoom pontoon or a Heinz Zoom call and paid attention to their squares while they're muted, what you see is constant <laughs> quips back and forth and smiles. And I've always wanted to unmute them just to hear what I imagine were the best roasts ever of the family. <laughs> Jack and Laura, there is a wonderful life ahead of you. Live it fully, love its changes and its choices. Let life amaze you and bring you joy. I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may seal your promise with a kiss. Great. It's my honor and privilege to introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Hines. of nearly or over 35 years we read a passage by John Steinbeck in his book Cannery Row about um, his dear friend Doc Rickert. This advice from Doc Rickert about being part of a family helps us as partners to keep perspective on our priorities. Okay and this is a quote. We must remember three things, and I will tell them to you in the order of importance. Number one, and first in importance, we must have as much fun as we can with what we have. Number two, we must eat as well as we can, because if we don't, we won't have the health and strength to have as much fun as we can. And third, and number three and third, and last in importance, we must keep the house reasonably in order, wash the dishes and such things, but we will not let that interfere with the other two. So, I'm, I'm just gonna move into the light a little more here. <laughs> so, um, so Laura has, been, has brought fun into our lives. Um, and how she's done this is um, at Christmas time, she always brings this set. It's, um, 
It's a Christmas handbell karaoke thing. Yeah, so, yeah, so we each get a different color bell, and then there's a scrolling screen, and when your color comes up, you ring it, and you sing along at the same time to songs like Away in the Manger, and so that is how Laura has brought fun into our lives. <laughs> and Jack has brought his family's version of fun to Laura's family, pickleball. <laughs> yeah. So, a toast to Jack and Laura, and their happiness by putting the fun of pickleball and Christmas handbell karaoke first and foremost and way ahead of any housework or anything else, not letting any of that interfere. And we are just very grateful to have you in the family, Laura. Thank you. So, thank you. so as father of the bride, I have the opportunity and the privilege to say a few words to all of you to offer some words of wisdom to the newlyweds, and then also perhaps a toast. So when I put together an outline, when Laura asked me to say a few words, I did what all the kids nowadays do, and I Googled what I was supposed to say. <laughs> I, I checked my comments to make sure I was touching all the bases, and the time was appropriate. And then I Googled it, made sure I was all set, and I was ready to go. About two weeks ago, Laura reached out to me and she said, Dad, you know, your father or the bride comments, you got two minutes. <laughs> I was like, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, no. I Googled it, honey. They said six to eight minutes. And she said, I don't care what Google says, Laura says you have two minutes. <laughs> so how about you cut back on some of the words of wisdom? So us dads need to maintain our own self-esteem I'm not cutting back on my words of wisdom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll those out now here as well. Um, so she said, we have five minutes. We negotiated, I ended up with five minutes. <laughs> so then I thought about it after we finished our conversation and I thought, she's my one daughter. This is my opportunity to be the father of the bride and make these comments. So this is my moment. <laughs> so I got five minutes, so Get comfortable, okay, here I go, save your questions till the end, okay? First of all, Jill and I, she's over here, would like to thank each and every one of you for being here. We understand that it's a time commitment and a financial commitment to participate in a weekend wedding event like this has been. So round numbers, two thirds of you had to fly to be here. So you had to endure air travel air travel to get here. Um, roughly a third of the states in the country are represented here today. So one of our bridesmaids uh, returned from Guatemala to participate in today's event. And we also have a good family friend from Frankfurt, Germany. So pretty widespread and we thank all of you for that effort to be here. So Jill and I are thrilled and full of gratitude for that. Now for the newlyweds. So, first of all, Laura, you make a beautiful bride. I haven't seen such a beautiful bride in maybe 37 years. <laughs> and, and coincidentally, that's when Jill and I were married, as you know, 37 years ago. And I realized from day one that Jill's happiness, wishes, and overall, overall well-being were more important to me than my own. And I'm 100% sure she feels the same way about me. <laughs> well, maybe 90%. Okay? Just kidding, honey. We think that's a great uh, cornerstone in the foundation block of building a successful and long marriage. So we think, you know what we think of Jack. You've done a phenomenal job picking Jack as your spouse, as, as your husband and as a son-in-law for Jill and me, and as a brother-in-law for your brother. So we think that, as I mentioned the other day, we think you hit the jackpot. <laughs> so, see what I did there, a little dad humor. And, and Jack, or if it's okay for me to call you Jack, or would you prefer Dr. Hines? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so Jack, we think you also did a fantastic job picking Lara as your wife. 
and picking Jill and me as your mother and father-in-law <laughs> and Chris as your brother-in-law. And incidentally, I think it's interesting to note that you both pick up a Chris as a brother-in-law. Yeah. So, pretty neat. Um, secondly, the fact that, that you both are here today, and I guess reinforces the idea that as individuals, you're fantastic people. But put together, you make each other stronger, you hold each other's feet to the fire, and you both need that. <laughs> and that's something that some kid out here today can, can Google to feet to the fire. I don't think that's a, the origin of that. It doesn't seem like it's quite appropriate, but I can't imagine. But someone can Google that and let us know. Holding each other's feet to the fire, I think, is something that's important. You together, as they say, make each other better. And we're thrilled to have, as I'm sure Tom and Mary Jean are, to have our families blending together through this union today. So we're thrilled. So now for my toast, if everybody still has their drink, to Laura and Jack, may all of your wishes and dreams and aspirations be the very least that you receive, and so much more. I can't wait to see what's next. Cheers. I am Laura's maid of honor, but I'm also Laura's cousin. When we would introduce each other to our friends, cousin never felt like a strong enough word to describe the closeness of our relationship. Some people just aren't close to their cousins. But to us, a cousin is one of the few people in the world who understands just how crazy your family is. <laughs> we share uncontrollable laughter and inside jokes and quirks that no one can understand. We are lifelong friends. She was like a sister to me before my sisters were born. We visited each other at our colleges, have gone on cruises together. One time we flew to Florida just to get our nails done. <laughs> we were roommates and have walked through seasons of boyfriends and breakups for both of us. But the hardest part was moving states away from my best friend. Time and distance make things change. It's harder to fully get to know each other's significant others. But as we've dreamed about this day since we were little, it makes it so sweet to know, Laura, that you are marrying your best friend. Someone who makes you happy, challenges you with new experiences, and someone who you can partner with through all of life's ups and downs. Jack knows that sometimes he is actually the third wheel in mine and Laura's relationship, but it comes with the territory. I couldn't be happier for you both and wish you a lifetime of happiness. Welcome to the family officially, Jack. Please join me in raising a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. Cheers. Uh, as was said, uh, my name is Wade Wolf. I am Jack's best man. Um, first, uh, thank you everyone for coming to such a lovely event. It was a great day. Uh, secondly, let's give it up for Laura. She looks fantastic today, right? So I first met Jack in college. And when I think about our friendship, I think we first bonded over what character was cheap to play in Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> over our time, we uh, grew uh, to know each other and we ended up living together. And through uh, our time uh, living together, Jack was committed to many things. He was first committed to school, all seven years of that. So. He was uh, also committed to the latest uh, Call of Duty or Halo game. It was never his fault when he died. <laughs> uh, and thirdly, which is kind of weird, but he was also uh, dedicated to Rocky Rococo's pizza on Friday after class. <laughs> Um, Chris said his dating life was mysterious. I would more put it as absent uh, in my time in college. <laughs> so when Jack said he was bringing out a girl to another friend's wedding, 
Uh, I looked at my wife at the time. I'm like, this is serious then. <laughs> and Laura came to this wedding, and she fit right in with all the friends. And it seemed like she was a part of the group for many years. Um, so at that point, over the last couple years, we've gotten to know Laura a little better. And I could say for a fact that you two are a perfect fit. So with that, let's all raise our glass to Jack and Laura. Congratulations. It tastes like summer. It sounds like a perfectly harmonious rhythm. It looks like color. It feels like the night we knew that it would be different. This feels like growing up This feels like two kids making it up This feels like growing up This feels like two friends falling in love Best time I've ever had